Hello everybody! Welcome to another tutorial. So I'm trying to get my table kind of together a little more than what it was. It's driving me nuts. Okay, I'm gonna wait for some people to join. It's a gloomy day here in the Midwest. Okay. Today, we're going to be making these little um, octopus finger puppet. I think this is really cute. So you're going to need a pair of scissors. I uh, put on the list some oil pastels and that's just to add a little bit of color to your up to part of your octopus and I'll show you when the time comes. You'll also need uh, markers, which I do not have, and some felt. You're going to need felt, which whatever color you want. You could do your octopus pink one, which is probably what I'm going to probably going to do a pink one this time. Uh, and let's see, you will need markers of some sort. I think maybe um, I'm only going to use two different colors with mine. So I'm only going to use pink and black for mine because I'm doing a pink thing. Uh, okay, and maybe, all right, um, so once again, markers, scissors, felt, oh, hot glue, you'll need a hot glue gun, and, uh, if you have pastel, you can use, um, oil pastels, but if you don't have it, it's fine, you could just use your markers. Okay, uh, first things first, you're gonna grab a piece of felt, whatever color you have, you could probably do this with material too if you didn't have a felt and you had like t-shirts or something like that. You could do any kind of fabric pretty much. If you had fabric that was already printed on it, that would be cute too. Okay, so I have this pink felt and I'm going to take my felt and I'm going to fold it. As You gotta think about how big you want your finger puppet to be, but you also have to compensate for the gluing aspect of it because we're not using it's kind of basically the same same way you would do um let me collect my thoughts here the same way you would do if you were sewing on a sewing machine if you've never sewn before sewn before i'll show you what i mean because we're going to be using the hot glue in place of stitching okay and let me pull up my um my page so i can see if there's any chats or anything going on Oh, is this it? There I am. Okay. All right. And so you're going to take a piece of felt. You're going to fold it. So this is just so when you cut, um, it'll be easier. They will be the same space. Okay. And I make it kind of big. You can always cut some off if you want later, but I'm making it kind of wide so that you have enough space to make your octopus. All right, now once you have that, you could take your marker, because pencil don't really work, or I mean, you could try pencil, if that's all you have. And then you're going to sketch out your, uh, your octopus. So let me zoom up a little bit and angle my camera down. All right, there we go. Okay, so now you're gonna take, it doesn't matter, um, where you're on the fold area, you're going to draw the circular part of your octopus, okay? So I'm going to start, I like to do off to the side uh, just so I save space. But you gotta remember, you're gonna have to put hot glue on this. So you wanna make it a little bigger so that the hot glue um, does not take up all of the space because you will not be using all of it. So just draw an oval, a half an oval, I should say, right there. This is the fold line that I'm drawing on here. Okay, once you have that drawn, you wanna cut that, both of these together, and you wanna leave it folded while you cut, okay? So cut that out. Now 
I can set this aside because we're going to use the little extra. We'll need that. All right, now once you have this, you're going to cut it in half. Now you have two pieces, okay? Next step is to hopefully you have your hot glue plugged in. If you do not, you need to plug that in now. And the next step is we're going to start to put hot glue. We're going to leave it like this because this is not going to show when we're done, okay? It, it won't be showing the little marking. I mean, it would be cute if you wanted to leave it on there, but... Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start putting hot glue very lightly around the edge of your octopus a little at a time, okay? So I just like to fold this over a little bit so it stays right where I want it to stay. And then just start putting a little bit of hot glue. Now this is hard to do for me, my hot glue gun. I have to squeeze really hard to get the glue to come out. It's kind of difficult. The, I like the smaller hot glue guns because they don't push as much hot glue out. I always say in Art City, less is more. All right, so if you can tell, I put some on there. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna push that on. Now when I push it, I, I'm used to the hot glue, so I pull out. That way it doesn't push it in further. But you gotta be careful of that. You don't wanna burn yourself. And then you're just gonna continue around until you get all the way to this side. You're gonna leave this side open because that's where you put your fingers. Okay? So continue on. Little bit of hot glue. And see what I do if I get too much on there? I just take that nozzle and move it around on there. Now this got up too far, so now it's not gonna... Okay, pull out. Now you don't know how it's gonna look till we flip it inside out, but we don't... We won't do that just yet, because we got it a bit we got to do before we flip it. All right? Do the rest. If you haven't already, remember, don't do that bottom part cuz that's where that's where you that's how you make your puppet move. Push that on there. There we go. Okay. Next step, we're going to cut out some legs. Okay? So you're going to take your extra piece that you have here, and um, you can fold it in half if you need to. I'm going to cut this little extra piece off here. And then you're just going to kind of do squiggles. Squiggle legs. And you don't have to do them all the same shape. You could do different shapes. Okay, so like when you, once you got it cut, the part where you have folded, cut that. And now you have two legs instead of one. How nifty, huh? I probably won't use all of these legs, but I cut them. I probably only use four. All right, and the next step is you're gonna hot glue them to one piece of this. So you're gonna hot glue it right here, okay? So you're gonna put just a little dab of glue. This one is, uh, I made so wide that I, it, I might actually be able to put almost a whole, uh, like, make it a hand instead of the fingers. Okay, there's that. I Probably not though, well maybe. Now, you know what would be really cute is if you could make a little, uh, like a little shadow box or a little puppet stand, like a little puppet stage um, with all of your little, with like an under, under, underwater scene. You could use felt to make an underwater scene. That would be so cute. Okay, do another one. Do 
Goodness, the only thing about hot glue, it just gets everywhere. Sometimes it's so annoying. Ow, hot. Super hot. Got me on a port that I've never had before. Okay, uh, and then one more. Last one here. Okay, there we go. Now I got those done. Now, uh, after they dry a little bit, you can use a hair dryer to dry them or you could just blow on them. Okay, pretty dry. Now you're gonna take your uh, finger puppet and you're going to flip it. Take your hands like this and flip it inside out. Like that. This one looks cute. This one turned out better than the other one. A little pink squid. All right, you can give it like uh, polka dots or whatever. Next step is we're gonna do the face. <clears throat> so this is where the pa oil pastels come in handy for the cheeks. It's all we're using it for is the cheeks. But it gives it a really cute little texture. And that's why, um, that's why I'm using them. If I can get my oil pastels open, I don't know what's going on right now. I think I got the wrong. What in the world? Oh, there we go. I was like, how did I do that? Okay, so then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna give it some little red cheeks. Little rosy red cheeks. All right, so just um, put some little, little dots on there. For the little cheeks. There we go. So that's what we got so far, little cheeks. Kind of like these. I need to fill this one out a little bit. And then the next step is to draw on our face. So you don't need these anymore. This was just for the cheeks and I think it looks really cute. I like the texture on it. So done with the oil pastels, unless you can think of, for, for a second anyway, just for a second. I forgot, we still have to do the flower on its, on its head. So let me pull those back out. Okay, and then the next step is to take your marker, your black marker, and make a face on it. So little, little teeny tiny eyes. The other ones I think, uh, my eyes are a little bit bigger. And I like the teeny tinier eyes. And then I'm going to put a little bitty mouth, teeny tiny little mouth. That. Now for the, um, the little antennae, or I mean uh, tentacles, we're going to take our marker and we're going to put little dots on it for the tentacles. I'm going to lay this here so I don't get it everywhere. So little dots or little slits or whatever. Oh, these are so cute. I do these, um, I haven't done the octopus at work, but I have, uh, in Art City, but I have done um, other types of finger puppets. Okay, and then, uh, oh, the flower. Next is the flower. So pick out a color that you want for the flower. I'm going to use white again because the white, um, you can really use the oil pastel on the white. So just cut out a little piece of white fabric that you have. And um, this one, I did like the little star. Wasn't the easiest, but I did it. Uh, you could do a circle and then make the star that way. So make a little circle. I don't know, I don't think this is gonna be quite the circle that I want. You could even do like a little heart. Oh, that turned out to be like a little heart. Um, anyway, I'm going to make a little flower out of this. So, little petals. You just kind of got to work with it a little bit. Do like some little points. See how I'm doing that? 
I don't know how well it's going to turn out, but you know what? It's all about the fun and creating it. If you don't like it, you can always grab another piece of material and fix it. Okay, so that's what I did. Oh, that turned out like it looks like a little crown almost. Almost. Or a lotus. Kind of like a little lotus. Okay, once you, like a little lotus flower. Once you have that on there, then you could go back with your little oil pastels and you could put some color on it. So I'm going to take the orange now and I'm going to do some little marking on there. Just a little bit to give it a little bit of color. I love the texture of the oil pastel on these. Okay, and then I'm going to add some yellow to it. And once you have that, you can hot glue that on. So now I'm going to hot glue that on. It looks like a little ocean uh, plant on there. Super cute. Now you could save your scraps if you want. When I'm in Art City, I save all the scraps because you could use those for so many things. People can put so much, th so many things on it. All right, and this is what we made. We made this little octopus finger puppet. Isn't that super cute? I hope you all had fun with this project. Actually, I had three fingers because I made it pretty big there. Um, let me zoom out. Okay, if you want any information on City Museum, you can go to citymuseum.org. It has all of our ticket prices, information, what we're doing, um, what our policy is right now. You can also follow us on Facebook at um, City Museum, uh, is it City Museum St. Louis, I believe. Uh, also, um, you're probably following it already if you're watching this. But I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll be back Monday morning at 11 o'clock for another fun tutorial to do. Um, I hope everybody has fun with their little finger puppets and do a cute little puppet show. Till then, have a great day.